Welcome to Exponents with Mr. J. In this video, we are going to be covering exponents, what exponents mean, and how to solve exponent problems. And as you can see, there's some important words to know at the top of your screen. Base, exponent, squared, and cubed. We will go through all of those important words in this video as well. And as you can see, there are six exponent problems on your screen. We are going to go through all of these and solve them together. I would highly suggest you have something out to write with and write on and do these with me. Now, if at any point you feel confident enough to do some on your own, go ahead and press pause. And then when you're ready, press play and check your work with mine. So when you press pause, finish the rest of the problems we haven't done yet, and then press play when you have them done, and you can check your work with mine. So let's hop into number one here, and we are going to talk about what base and exponent is first, and then solve it. So our big number right here, the three, this is our base. And this little number here, in the top right corner of our base is called the exponent. So exponents are used when we are multiplying the same number over and over again. And you'll know what that means here in a second. So our three is our base, and I'm just going to write a three here. So what three to the fourth power, you can say this as three to the fourth power, or three to the power of four, what this means is we have four threes expanded out. We're multiplying the same number over and over again. So this means three times three times three times three. So we have four threes. Our exponent tells us how many times to expand it out, and our base is the number that's being expanded out. So now we solve. So we know three times three is nine, but we still have two more threes we need to include. So now let's do nine times three, which is 27. And then we have one more three to include. And 27 times three is 81. So three to the fourth power equals 81. Again, exponents are used to multiply the same number out a certain number of times. So our base three was expanded out four times. Our exponent tells us how many times to expand it out. So let's, like, let's take a look at number two. We have two to the power of two, or two to the second power. Now, anything with the power of two actually has a special nickname. You can absolutely say two to the second power or two to the power of two, but you can also say two squared. So this means we take our base two and we expand it out two times, two times two. And our answer to two squared is four. So let's take a look at number, th so let's take a look at number three here. We have four to the third power or four to the power of three. So this one has a nickname as well. Anything to the power of three, we can say cubed. So you can say this four cubed, four to the third power, or four to the power of three. All are correct. So we take our base and we expand it out three times. So four times four is 16. And then 16 times 4 is, and if you get to a point where you can't do it mental math, which there's a lot of these you can't do mental math, you may need to come to the side, and I'm going to do 16 times 4 over here to figure it out. Well, 4 times 6 is 24, carry my 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus that 2, and we get 64. So 4 cubed equals 64. So again, base is the big number that we expand out. The exponent is the little number in the top right that tells you how many times to expand it out. And then our two nicknames, squared, 
that's an exponent of 2, and cubed, exponent of 3. So let's go to number 4. We have 2 to the 5th power, or 2 to the power of 5. So we need to take 2 and expand it out 5 times. 2 times 2 is 4. Let's bring down our remaining 2's. 4 times 2 is 8. We have 2 more 2's to include. 8 times 2 is 16. 1 more 2. And 16 times 2, we get 32. 2 to the 5th power equals 32. Alright, number 5. We have 5 cubed. So we need to expand the 5 out 3 times. So we have 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Bring down the other 5. So we end up with 25 times 5, which is 125. And number 6, we have 10 to the second power, or 10 squared, or 10 to the power of 2. Now, I want to mention a common mistake here is when people see exponents, they'll just do 10 times 2 and say this equals 20. Remember, this doesn't mean 10 times 2. You expand the 10 out 2 times. So it actually means 10 times 10, which equals 100. So there you have it. There are the basics to exponents and how you solve exponents. And then four important words to know when it comes to exponents. So hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, peace.